Hey there, folks. Promise that I'd be more cleaned up for this next video, and I think I am. And unfortunately, it is also about something very seriousness. A um, bit of lightheartedness in my presentation. I guess it's just too hot for a shirt, so I'm stuck here to the leather chair trying to say some shit. So I made a post a little while ago, shared a post about this dude who was living in one of these individual sheds uh, built for homeless folks and the dude was at his job and then while he was working his home his shed was torn down now I don't know a lot of the specifics about this apparently um, the government had said they weren't going to start tearing them down till a certain date. They tear them down early. Um, they may have offered someone a, a um, somewhat of a housing deal to be able to put up in a hotel or something like that, but that might only be for three weeks. But that's not, I don't know the specifics, but I'm going to tell you the general. And the general is that nobody should be homeless, you know, especially not in first world nations like Canada. Um, you know, I understand sometimes people are like in between jobs and just moving and sort of couch surfing and stuff like that. But for somebody to have nowhere to go, like that's not cool. And yeah, I know there's shelters, but, um, and, and, and I, I gotta take this time to say, I've been very, very fortunate with my housing situation. Um, you know, it could always be taken away at any moment. Um, I, I don't think just like that, but you just never know when you're relying on, on others, right? What might happen to your worst case scenario. So if I were homeless, I would much prefer those sheds than going to a shelter because the shed gives one an individual space. And I believe they lock from the inside. So you're, you're clear. And, and like when you're in a, um, a forced group situation like that you just never know who you're dealing with right so and and also probably um you know some of the quote-unquote rougher cats that you would be dealing with it's, that's not in their control they they've had chronic poverty and perhaps mental illness and stuff um to be in a, a shelter scenario in the first place so you know if people's acting up in the shelter well you know it's really because because, um, and I'm not saying everybody goes to a shelter acts up, not like that. But if, if they are acting up, it, it, it's because, you know, they, they can't help them for some kind of reason. So instead of tearing these sheds down, you should be building more. And I mean, ideally, everybody's in a better situation than in a shed, right? But in the meantime, you know, until everybody has proper adequate housing, these sheds is a good idea, you know, it's much safer and and people don't want the sheds around us and that. Like, what the fuck, man? Like what okay, I'll tell you what, like I wouldn't want one of them sheds on my balcony, but I got no problem with it being in the parking lot, you know, of my building. What's wrong? I mean, unless somebody was screaming and hollering all all day and all night long you know then then maybe I wouldn't want that but you know most of these people that, that are going to want these sheds is because they want to get away from people screaming and hollering all day long you know or being told you can't be here or there or whatever the fuck you know so i just i think we need to put a real dent in this and any effort that does decree can't can't be can't be stopped you know um we can't overturn this nobody should be homeless it's not it's not fair it's not right oh everybody has a right to their food shelter clothing needs being met and i'm starting to think along with the basic income um there might need to be some initiative for folks to uh, own their own housing you know like even if it's just like a, a bachelor like I'm in, if, if there are a way for me to own that unit so that, you know, I'm not, you know, subject to 
potentially like a landlord jacking up the rent 600 percent that has not happened here but you just you never know right the property values and people moving here from covid and what things do but but um nobody is less than anybody else right and, and you know you might have people who are more talented at a certain thing or you know people who um you know keep their word better than others or things like that but but nobody deserves a home more or less than anybody else right everyone deserves a home you know um so please you know whatever we can do to give people safe and affordable housing and and to give people the the most dignity and freedom in life and the highest possible quality of life no nobody is less than you because they're poor or an addict or and it's not even people i mean this dude this dude was at work and he got his shed torn down on him imagine that he's working the job and he still can't get a place to live so he has me one of these sheds what do they do they tear it down anyways enough of this time to stop it time to give everybody a safe affordable place to live okay bye for now